Hi guys, welcome to the next section, Fuzzy Logic Induced Content-Based Recommendation. In this section, we will cover topics such as an introduction to the content-based filtering method, news aggregator use cases and data, designing our content-based filtering method, fuzzy recommendation ranking. Now, we move on to the first video of this section that deals with introducing content-based recommendation. In this video, we're going to take a look at what we will see the concept of fuzzy logic. We will make recommendations based on the product he was browsing without any information about the user. When a friend comes to you for a movie recommendation, you don't arbitrarily start shooting movie names. You try to suggest movies while keeping in mind your friend's tastes. Content-based recommendation systems try to mimic the exact same process. Content-based recommendation systems are also called content-based filtering methods. During winter, cars tend to have problems starting. But once the engine reaches the optimal temperature, it starts to run smoothly. Recommender systems tend to have the same cold start problem. When deployed for the first time, the recommender system is unaware of the user preferences. It's in the dark when it comes to recommendations. Content-based recommendation is the best method to address the cold start problem. Since content-based methods rely on the product properties to create recommendations, they can ignore the user preferences to begin with. Typically, the content-based filtering method provides a list of top N recommendations based on similarity scores. Fuzzy logic is based on the fuzzy sets theory. In fuzzy sets, the boundaries are not well defined and they may overlap. Another concept in fuzzy logic is fuzzy rules. They provide a mechanism for dealing with fuzzy consequence and fuzzy antecedents. Now, consider the ranking problem while serving recommendations. The ranking is crisp based on the strict sorting of one or more similarity scores. We will replace this strict sorting system with a fuzzy rule-based system. A news aggregator collects syndicated web content such as news articles, blogs, video, and similar items at a centralized location for easy viewing. We will use an imaginary news aggregator website as an example to explain and build a content-based recommendation system. Our fuzzy logic rule system will shed light on how a fuzzy system can be leveraged for ranking. To understand the inner workings of a content-based recommendation system, let's look at a simple example. We will use the wine dataset from this website. This dataset is the result of the chemical analysis of wine grown in the same region in Italy. We have data from three different cultivars. You can look at the Wikipedia page for cultivars. Now we will open the R Studio. First, we will extract the data from UCI Machine Learning Repository. Let's run it. We have a total of 14 columns. The column number 1 is named V1 represents the cultivar. We can see the distribution of the V1 column using this line of code. Next, we will remove the cultivar and only retain the chemical properties of the wine. Wine.features has all the properties and without the cultivar column. After that, we will scale this wine.features and convert our data frame to a matrix. Now, we will add the row names and give an integer number for each wine. With our matrix ready, let's find the similarity between the wines. We have numbered our rows representing the wine. The columns represent the properties of the wine. We're going to use the Pearson coefficient to find the similarities. The Pearson coefficient measures the correlation between two variables. COV function is the covariance and it's divided by the standard deviation of X and standard deviation of Y. In our case, we want to find the Pearson coefficient between the rows. We want the similarity between two wines. Hence, we will transpose our matrix before invoking core function using this line of code. After that, these code lines will find the similarity matrix. Here is the similarity matrix. We transpose the wine.matrix and pass it on to the core function. In the transpose matrix, our output will be the similarity between the different wines. The core dot matrix matrix is the similarity matrix which shows how closely related items are. 
the values range from minus 1 for perfect negative correlation, when two items have attributes that move in opposite directions, and plus 1 for perfect positive correlation, when attributes for the two items move in the same direction. For example, in row 1, wine 1 is more similar to wine 2 than wine 3. The diagonal values will be plus 1 as we are comparing a wine to itself. Let's do a small recommendation test. Here, we're looking at the wine features for the third row. Let's say a particular user is either tasting or looking at the properties of wine 3. We want to recommend to him wines similar to wine 3. Let's do the recommendation. We look at the third row in our similarity matrix. We know that the similarity matrix has stored all the item similarities. So the third row gives us the similarity score between wine 3 and all the other values. Now we want to find the closest match. First, we sort row 3 in decreasing order, so we have all the items close to wine 3 popping to the front. Then we pull out the top 5 matches. Great, we want to recommend wines 52, 51, 85, and 15 to this user. We ignore the first recommendation as it will be the same item we are searching for. In this case, the first element will be wine 3 with a similarity score of 1. Let's look at the properties of wine 3 and the top 5 matches to confirm our recommendation. Great, you can see that the wine properties in our recommendation are close to the properties of wine 3. Hopefully this video explains the concept of content-based recommendation.